find the values of t for which the function x is equal to 4t cube plus 1 and y is equal to 3t squared minus 7t is concave up. So before we do uh, the differentiation, let me talk about concave up and concave down. Say let's draw, suppose this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis. And say we've got a graph like this. So I hope you know this is called the maximum and this is the minimum. And there's a point somewhere between the maximum and minimum, not exactly between, somewhere between. This is the point of inflection. This is your point of inflection. This is your max. And this is your minimum. This is your minimum. And this area, so let me use a different color, this area is called concave up. For this area, that's what they're talking about. For this area, you should know the second derivative, that is d squared y by dx squared, has to be greater than 0. So concave up, the second derivative is greater than 0. And this is concave down, your second derivative is less than 0. So the question is, for which value of t is your function concave up? So this implies we want to show, we want, we have to find dy by dx. So this is the first thing that you should know. You have to find the second derivative, d, and that has to be greater than 0. So to find the second derivative, you have to first find the first derivative. So let's first find dy by dx. So dy by dx is dy by dt divided by dx by dt. So just writing what is dy by dy by dt. Well, differentiating this, this will be 6t minus 7 divided by dx by dt is 12t squared or 12t squared, just like that. Now using, now you differentiate this, so you're using the quotient rule d squared y by dx squared. So using the quotient rule, differentiate the top, which is the derivative of the numerator is 6, times the denominator, which is 12t squared, minus the numerator, which is 6t minus 7, times the derivative of the denominator, which is 24t, divided by the denominator squared. So if you square the denominator, it will be 144, 144t raised to 4. And that has to be greater than 0. So this implies, let's simplify this. So 12 times 6 times 12 is 72t squared. Uh, expanding this, this will be minus 144 t, t times t is t squared. You got a negative and negative will be, make it positive, plus 24 times 7 is 168t divided by 144 t raised to 4 is greater than 0. So, let me scroll this up slightly. So this implies, so this implies, okay, I'm unable to write it now, okay. Okay, so this is, this implies, yeah, uh, multiplying both sides by 144 times, 144 t raised to 4, this implies, you can say, and simplifying the numerator, I can say this is minus 72 t squared plus 168 t is greater than 0. So which implies, let's factorize this. So if you factorize this, uh, okay, what can you divide? You can divide both by, say, 24. You can divide this by 24, and also you can divide this by, 24. So let me get my calculator out. So what is minus 72 
divided by sorry minus 72 divided by or let me do 72 divided by 72 divided by 24 equals 3 and 168 divided by 24 is sorry 168 divided by 24 should be four, 7 yeah so yeah dividing both side by 24 you can say this implies uh, this is minus 3t plus 7 so t squared plus 7t is greater than 0 now what does this mean graphically now if you graph this this will be an upside down parabola so if you graph this okay so let me slightly scroll this up so this will become I don't have space here so I'll want to write it here so you can factor the t out if you factor the t out you can get or if you can factor the minus 3 minus t out you'll get 3t minus 7 is greater than 0 now this is a quadratic equation so the equation the graph would look somewhat like this and this point is 0 this is 0 and this is going to be 7 over 3 so the question is when is this going to be greater than 0 so if you're done bit of algebra or graphing you can understand this part of the graph is where it's greater than 0 so this implies you can say t has to be greater than 0 or less than 7 over 3 so let me show this on a calculator so if you graph this equation even if you graph this whole equation it is going to be the same thing but I'll graph this so let me get my calculator out and go to graph and type in uh, minus 3 x squared plus 7 x and then just graph it so to make it a bigger scale make it standard exit and then draw it so this is what I'm talking about so th these are the roots so gsol and root so one value is 0 and the other value is 2 2 and 2 thirds 2 and 1 third sorry so 7 7 over 3 is 2 and 1 quarter 1 third sorry <laughs> so if you want to write the final answer your t has to be greater than 0 or less than 7 over 3 is to be exact is 2 and 1 1 over 3 so when t is between these two values your graph is going to be your graph is going to be concave